So that didn't say anything. So now I've unmuted myself and you didn't hear anything I said before. And I haven't figured out this, um, what do you call it? The tra um, um, You know, the writing thing that, that you, you have there, the... There's even a tool that you can use on the on the mobile phone. Um, so I am going to. So will I put it here? How does it look when I'm looking there? I don't know. And of course, when I don't restart the meeting, I still won't know. And I haven't set up this AI tool of putting the eyes on focusing on the camera. Um, even though it's very realistic, it really works. So what do I do now? Okay, I'll do a trial run or I'll just go live. That's the question. No, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the meeting and look at the recording and see. Now, this is where I've got the page in front of me on the right. So maybe I could just read it through and then do it again. Do it anyhow is a motto I've heard. The experience this week at the UN, our UN side event, the cooperation with UN conference services. It's Wednesday morning, almost still, and quite a while ago I started a Facebook group called Learning by Doing. I'm happy to report I'm still learning and still doing. After various challenging issues which rocked my confidence, I come to again appreciate the importance of mentoring. So I think I'm going to have to do this with um, what they say in German, Stichwörter, and just do it because otherwise I'm I'm really just reading the text and that comes across completely differently than when I'm talking, right? So when you have a mastermind group, you have a reference, feedback. For me, I meet with my mastermind buddies once a week, every Tuesday morning. We say a pledge, the mastermind pledge. We share our wins of the week, our wishes, and our new commitments. This past week, for the first time, I met with my two mastermind buddies. For the first time in person. Actually, it was the first time that we all three met together in person. And I had met one just a few weeks before. I'm in weekly contact with my personal buddy. We are social beings. As we realize our changing needs and flexibility, it is sometimes reassuring to have an anchor that stays the same. Gee, I wrote all this feeling, really feeling it, but when I read it now, it, I just can't get it across in the same way. So I'm thinking maybe I'll post this to my Oz Lily what, uh, group, uh, YouTube, and try and do a better version for the other one. For me, for a long time, my anchor was my parents' house, our house. My father built our house, and after I left Australia, it became the symbol to me of belonging, of coming home. Now, as many millions of people worldwide, I live somewhere else than where I was born. How about you? The recent elections in Austria reinforced my feeling of displacement, despite already living in this country for over 30 years. Why don't you get Austrian citizenship? I asked. And I cling to my identity, my origin as an Australian. But you're not really Australian. Only the Aborigines are real Australians, I hear. Your parents are Czech, you're Czech. No, I protest loudly. I have never lived in Czechoslovakia. Everyone born in Australia is an Australian. Oh, that principle does not apply to those born here in Austria. This week, I reported to my mastermind buddies about my experience at the UN on Monday. As a retiree, I wanted to bring my Austrian husband in as a private visitor. The working language at the UN is English, so we were talking in English until my husband presented his passport. Then the security guard immediately switched to German, asking whether he has ever been to the UN before. Then I replied, also in German, yes, he had a family pass before, while I was still working there. I mentioned that the security guard most likely could not tell my nationality from my UN pass. 
It has my name on it and my status as a retiree. The UN is obliged to hire a quota of people from each country. But once you work for the UN, you have to sign a Pledge of Allegiance to the UN. For me, it was the IAEA, beyond your own nationality. As we're all individuals, minorities of one sort or another, I came to appreciate the vision I share with many unificationists of interdependence, mutual prosperity and universally shared values. I love working in an environment where we respect one another, regardless of nationality, skin colour, religion, age or gender. I can see the point of supporting the UN and its ideals, despite its limitations and imperfections. As I said at the beginning, do it anyhow. It's become an important motto for me. I often feel inadequate, not enough, not ready, unfinished. There's so much I still want to do, so why not just start and just keep going? <laughs>